this week the plan is to cross the entire mountain range here through the snowy trails This time we're stuck. Albo is uh, knee deep in the snow. We are Nick and Mathilde, and in 2022, we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia, and Africa. We want to see it all. This is day 564, and we are in Chile. Welcome to the next Meridian Expedition. We left you last week when we arrived in the snow of Chile and this week the plan is to cross the entire mountain range here through the snowy trails. Woohoo! All right, this is going to be sweet. Now walking in the snow, luckily it's not mushy so it's pretty dry. But now let's get elbow through the tracks of the snow. We have no idea how it's going to look but just planned out a 350 kilometer track all through the snow mixed with some small roads so it's gonna be sweet you ready for it i'm ready for it let's do it last week we entered chile from argentina the plan this week is to cross alongside the Villarica National Park at the feet of Volcano Soipuli to go see a travel friend we have not met in a long time and who's waiting for us at the Argentina border. The challenge is the following. Even though it is spring, there has been significant snowfalls the past days and many roads are closed. Despite this, we refuse to give up and follow the last track we suspect might be open. Little did we know. We are heading straight into some cold adventures. We've just been driving through all these tiny villages and communities here. It's so cute. Look at these. I mean, this guy's got a little triangle house. Over there, there's a colored one. Some abandoned vehicles over there. Very, very cute. We've just been driving on these tiny little gravel roads. Honestly, loving it. We start by following small roads right into the mountain range. The villages of the Mapuche people settled in this area seem to be barely coming out of a long winter under the snow. Little wooden houses alongside lakes, mostly farms with sometimes a cabin to rent we assume for the summer visitors. In the village, a school, a cemetery, a mini market, and a church. And from there, we went from the gravel to the real snow trail. But before driving into the wood, we could not resist to do one more thing. It's lunchtime and we looked for the perfect spot for a special project. We are going to do a snowman. Yeah, I put the eyes in. You put uh, a bit of makeup. That's cool. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, show me how you put the second arm. I'm gonna rip his arm off. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, the 
one even has the little carabiner on the side. Oh no, Sammy! This is the end of this tragic story. I was looking for the carrots everywhere. I found the arms of Sammy, found the glasses, I found the backpack, and I couldn't find the carrot. But now I found the carrot. Here is the carrot. <laughs> All this time he was here. That's it for the silly game stop. We leave what's left of our snowman behind and head to the south into the remote tracks alongside the border. We kind of slide around a bit though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're now driving on full snow. Reduce the tire pressure, low range, second gear because tires are spinning. How many kilometers do we have to do like this? Probably like 80. We don't know if it's 80 like this, but we don't know if it's not 80 like this. Oh, Another river crossing. River crossing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the dip of this one. and snow fields, dark monkey puzzle trees and black river rocks contrasting amazingly with the bright and fresh white snow. The place looks superb. We complete a first dozen kilometers without any problem until the struggle started. And the struggle was real. Now I think we found an obstacle that is really a problem. This big ditch, it gets the car super tilted. We tried in many ways, so Nick went for the big guns. All right, the plan is to uh, drive on this side so it will tilt less. I'm sure you could have done it, but when you're in the car and it's tilting like 38 degrees, it's scary. So. I think I removed a few degrees with the shovel. We got out of this one, but really it is only the beginning of our trouble. All right. Wow, good job, Zoom. We made it out of this one. Yeah. Till the next one. Even if we don't make it, this road is super pretty. We're going alongside a river, there's snow everywhere and beautiful trees all like getting green because it's the spring coming. 60 more kilometers like this and the next river crossing <laughs> is now. <laughs> Between the beautiful sections and fun river crossings, and as the temperature outside dropped down, the following 20 kilometers were a continuous streak of struggle to struggle. I don't think we're gonna make it through this street. All right, we found another uh, difficult spot. 
So this part here was really steep. The car was literally like that. And uh, so now Mathilde is digging the left track, which is higher up and throwing it on the right track so that it kind of levels it out. sign up for that we're not like off-roader we we just like our 4x4 because it brings us to remote places but we don't usually do that for fun but look at that <laughs> ay, 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 ay. at least i was there but this is nasty and nick is happy nick not my fault i all those tires <laughs> oh my god, there's mud until the roof. The snow is so deep, it's actually touching the whole uh, chassis. Amazing. Now, the next thing is we have to go up this hill. Come on, let's see if Albo can do it. We did make it on top of the hill, but sure enough, not long after, the inevitable happened. Well, this time we're stuck. Albo is uh, knee deep in the snow. This seems pretty slippery. Last time we took them out, you remember when it was? Uh, Colombia. Colombia. We got stuck in La Guajira. In the desert. Uno. And dos. And dos. When you need the winch, it doesn't work. This is what happens. You just hear a clicking sound. So we have to figure out what the problem is. And the car is chassis onto, uh, onto the snow. So I don't think anyone's coming this way. Mathilde is right now shoveling hard and we're taking turns shoveling. Whew. While Nick check what's wrong with the, with the winch, I try to remove some of the snow here. Hopefully it will help. Digging, using sand ladders and branches to gain traction under the tires. We go through our options without much success. Without a winch, the car is just laying on a thick bed of snow, compacted and iced by the vehicle weight, and we are running out of idea and energy. Updates, we stopped filming because we have another priority. The sun is getting lower, it's just going to be hidden by the hill soon, soon, soon. And we didn't move, but we're making progress on our options, I would say. One of which, getting to collect rocks in this little river bed and put it under our tires. So, let's go. Oh, oh goodness, it's a carnage. The um, winch doesn't want to work. So we pulled out the high lift, lifting up the car. We're gonna put rocks below two front tires and then put the max tracks on the back see if that works but gosh carnage carnage horrible put it under there so while Mathilde is doing this I have to hold this which is keeping the, the car high lifted and this high lift is what's doing that now I have to keep my foot on it because it can jump back and then if Mathilde's hand is under it's stuck under. All right, you got this. The idea is to get under the tire so that we can put the, the max track. You see now it's going away easy because the tire is lifted. 
And just there, a miracle happened. We made it out! <laughs> We're not out yet. <laughs> Almost, but I mean, we got it out of this. Now I'll just have to push through to the flat bit there. And then we can tidy our stuff. We made it out, come on! <laughs> All right, here, you hold the phone. Okay. We're gonna come up. I think now it's official. We made it out of this section. <laughs> Look at this crazy <laughs> person. <laughs> nice. Wow, my toes are frozen. Mathilde is full of mud, even on her forehead. We took out almost all the equipment. We found out our winch isn't working. I think the relay has to be changed. I thought we were gonna be stuck here and we were like, okay, if by tonight we can't figure it out, we're gonna use the Garmin and SOS for help, but we're out. Nice, found it. <laughs> All right, let's put away everything and let's go. As we tidy our equipment, another miracle happened. Seriously, two hours and a half later and then these guys come out. What the hell? <laughs> no, but yeah, no. Hola. Hola. Ah, está complicado. Es más fácil para ustedes. <laughs> This day is a bit crazy. Now all those guys told us that in France it's even worse. And uh, and they're so nice. They were like, okay. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> For them it's so easy. So they said one guy of ours come in front of you and the rest of the troop will be behind and and uh, will help you come out if you have any other issue. For now we're doing okay, we're following them. We and came all this way so technically we could come out the other way, that was the hardest bit. But it's already 6.40 p.m. Yeah. So it's more reassuring to go with them. For sure. I feel like in a James Bond movie with those crazy buggies that like follow James Bond sometimes. Except we're going at 20 km per hour. We complete a U-turn and abandon the idea to cross the mountain range until the border. Our new friends advised against and they surely know the terrain better than us. Although now we understand where the giant holes we discovered on the way came from. There was a bit of deception for both of us of not going all the way on our track. But we are still proud of the way we did manage to get out, despite the winch not working, the snow and the cold, through several hours stuck in place. Whew, what a long day! But today was a great day. We uh, had a track of 260 kilometers through the snow, uh, and within the first 40 kilometers or more, um, we ended up getting stuck and then just when we got free these vehicles came and they said don't go further it's actually deeper and harder uh, and so we turned around and we followed them we're sad we didn't go all the way but I'm and I think you are also super proud we managed to get Albatros out without the winch when he was like blocked on the snow so I think we're proud of that because we kind of proved ourselves we can do it in rougher situations First time we used the high lift too, works perfectly. And uh, and I was even thinking about selling it back in Peru because it's like it's been a year and a half, we never used it. And it's good we kept it because we did use it today and that's what got us out. Now we're going to go to sleep and we'll have to figure out a new road to go where we're supposed to go. 
but I think Nick is already working on that. Exactly. Now, good night. The next day, we take a long detour away from the mountain to go around the closed snowy tracks, with this time a clear sky allowing us to see the volcano we were driving around the day before. Our new route allowed us a short stop at the superb town of Villarica, where other Land Rover enthusiasts had invited us. Hello. Please meet Carson How's and Carson. Yeah, Good you. to meet you finally. Hello. Hey Matilda, I'm Carson. And Carson is right there. This is Karsten, thank you so much for hosting us. No problem at all. It's amazing. We have Good a new friend, have on, new friend on the road. Absolutely. And Claudia. <laughs> hey. <laughs> thank you very much to them for having us and allowing us to rest and warm up at their place. But also for recommending the best Chilean empanadas place on our way to Argentina. Under superb weather, we passed the border of Tromen at the foot of the majestic Vulcan Lanin. It is the second time we enter Argentina and we are now very used to the process. So it goes at light speed and we arrive in no time in the town of San Martín de los Andes. So we've just arrived in San Martín de los Andes in Argentina and for the ones who have been following us since Canada and the USA you might know who we're going to be meeting and we actually just crossed him on the road. We're really happy to see this friend again because we didn't see him in 10 months. So now let's look for him again. Hey! We found him! We found him! Il est là à gauche. C'est ça? All right. <laughs> and it is the guy from New Zealand, the, the kiwi. kiwi. Yo! It's a kiwi! Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Another brother, another brother! Another brother, what the hell? How are you? So for those who were... <laughs> yeah, I trust you, I trust you. Those who were following the journey since Canada, you've met Tom because we crossed to almost to Alaska with him at the time. He's from New Zealand, he's an amazing traveler. He's called Tom and his defender is called Jerry. And we're going to spend a few next days together. We're so happy to see Tom again. It's been a really long time. Last time I saw him was Mexico Cancun, which was around February. So practically almost 10 months. Matilda saw him in Guatemala, so maybe nine months ago. But so, so good to be with him again. And I mean, look at the view we have. Very beautiful lake, still lake. Water is cold, but look at the spot we have. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Reunion. It's been 10 months, right? About, yeah. yeah. And nine yeah. for you. And nine for us. Yeah. This whole area is gorgeous. So the plan for the next few days is to explore the lake area at the border between Argentina and Chile. And we're going to do that with our friend Tom. And we show you all of this next week. Until then, take care. The guy just said it's he can go out now, and we were thinking with Nick that for them is a good situation. 